like to give a special thanks to Briar for sending these horses to us for free. What's up, y'all? Today, we are going to have some fun with Briar Horses. The Surprise Horse Painting Kit, to be exact. I can usually find these for less than $5, and they are on Briar's website, which is briarhorses.com. Inside, we will find a horse, a paintbrush, and paint. I really want to get better at painting horses, so today is a fun day to practice. Let's open our kit and take out the horse, the paintbrush, and the paint. I have white, black, and brown paint. The paintbrush has a pretty nice point that will totally come in handy when painting those details. And I am loving this model. Let's paint a gray horse today. I mix white and black paint to make gray. Stir it well. Let's add just a little more white to get the gray we want. I try to mix all the color that I'm going to need at one time, so we don't have to try and match it later. That can get kind of tricky. Now we can add a little bit of that gray to the muzzle. I like to start with really thin, light layers and then just build up. So let's paint a nice, thin coat around the muzzle. And we want it to kind of fade just a little by mixing our gray with a little more white paint. And we're just going to use it to fade those colors. And I'm gonna continue with this color all over the rest of the body. I really like this really light gray. I'm just keeping it nice and thin and covering all the little nooks and crannies. Let's add some of that darker gray around the eyes. I just want it to fade, so I start with the darker color, then I go back with the lighter color. Giving our horse that nice smoky eye. Next, I take a little dark gray paint on my paintbrush, and I'm gonna remove some of the excess. I want it to be kind of dry. Then let's build that color up on the neck. While the paint is still wet, I mix in that lighter gray, because I want this to be kind of subtle. While smoothing out the colors, I use my brush to just tap it, and that creates a little bit of texture. Let's add that dark gray to the back legs and fade that color in. And we can make the front legs a little darker as well, blending from light to dark. I'm gonna darken the inside of the ears and paint the mane and tail dark gray. But on the tail, let's just paint part of it dark gray. Then the light gray, add a little touch of the light gray to the mane as well. Then use white on the ends. All right, I am pretty happy with this base color. Now I'm going to attempt to do a little dapple effect by adding little white spots kind of like stars. I kept them kind of close together in the large open areas. I am painting the hooves black. Very carefully paint the eyes black, then use a tiny bit of white paint to add a dot in the horse's eye for a little shine. Completing our dapple gray horse. I love painting stable mates. It is so much fun to practice our horse painting skills. I really want to work on improving those dapples, so I can't wait to paint the next one. Because you know what they say, practice makes better. And now our new horse can join some of our other painted stable mates. I painted this horse to look like our horse Johnny, and here's his best friend Tino. Pretty nice little collection we have here. Now that we've painted a few stable mates, let's make a diorama. A fun little scene where we can display our horses. So today, we are going to give this desk lamp a little makeover by making a small diorama that attaches to the bottom. In addition to the lamp, we will be using recycled cardboard, tissue paper, paint, and a paintbrush 
coffee stirs, and greenery like moss and artificial plants. I start by taking a large piece of cardboard and placing it underneath the lamp. I decide where I want the lamp to go, trace around it, extend the line from the widest part to the edge, make a larger line around it, cut it out, trace it to make two, cut on the outside edge of the traced lamp base, place it on the copy, and sketch where the neck of the lamp is. I always give myself a little more room than what is needed, just to be safe. Cut on the line drawn, measure the height of the base. For me, that is one and a half inches. I cut a long strip of cardboard to that measurement, glue it onto the edge of the cardboard with the base cut out, add a few strips across the middle, I place the cardboard around the cutout for the base, and then I made two lines on the side. Hopefully, we'll be able to use this for a little storage. Glue the other piece of cardboard on top to create the base for our diorama. Glue on more cardboard to build it up. I'm adding a tall piece around the cutout for the lamp. Then I added two pieces to the side to extend it. Then continue adding layers and layers and layers to make the foundation for our train. Tear pieces of tissue paper, apply glue to the cardboard, brush it to make a thin layer, then place the tissue paper on top and brush it down. Allow the paper to wrinkle to create texture. Cover the entire structure and allow it to dry. Then pick out a paint color. I'm going with brown and apply a thin base coat, covering up all the tissue paper. Allow it to dry. Take a darker brown, swirl it around on the palette to remove some of the excess paint, then dry brush in the corners to help it stand out by adding a little shadow. Then dry brush on a lighter color by just brushing really lightly over everything. I'm using a brownish-orange mixture to just create some awesome highlights. Making all those little wrinkles in the paper just pop. Once dried, take coffee stirs, cut them to about an inch and three quarters, glue them onto the edge, glue on more coffee stirs in the back to connect them to make a fence. Add a little greenery. I'm using moss to make a rugged western terrain that is perfect for our stable mates. The desk lamp fits in the back, allowing us to shine a little light on the scene. And this is one of those lamps where you can move the neck so you can have more control over your lighting. So we can get the perfect picture every time. And don't forget, there's a little space in the back where we can fold poster board to make a piece that can fit inside, make two small cuts in the back, then bend it up and fold over the sides and glue them in place. Repeat on the other side to make a small tray, cut a small curve so we can place it underneath for a hidden drawer to store some of our horses and accessories when not in use. Creating the perfect little desktop diorama with removable lighting to display and store our stable mates. Thank you for joining us while we showed our model horses a little love. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And we will see you next time. Bye!